I don't even know. Oh yeah, that's why we just started the new case. Look how choppy it is. It's choppy. Oh, it looked a bit choppy to me. This is recovered. Look how many. Oh, I got, come on, they're definitely. Oh, I didn't say. I wonder how many homicides there were in 1947, considering all the shootings we just went across. <laughs> Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence Can you hear? Has information yeah. on a okay. stolen car wreck. An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Fox? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. No, it was that 48 star You don't say. It's the what? 48 star Very yeah. funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Oh, I thought that was... Can I talk to him? I guess not. Isn't he the cop? Oh, look at they had they had those back then. Waterproof drugs. Yeah, I didn't. I thought the water drugs came after. I thought they would just use the tap. So it's not fun. Early bird gets the worm. It's like a mouse gets the cheese. There's no subtitles. I thought there was subtitles. There was supposed to be subtitles. There were. There just was. No, he didn't. Say, it didn't have subtitles for the guy that echo was saying. Are we good? We're gonna have to. Do some union busting. The thing was, he was a really nice guy. I felt lousy tolerating him. See, there was no, there was no subtitles for that. I guess it's only for what they consider to be important dialogue. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm just walking randomly. I don't even. I didn't even realize the police station was this big. Don't mind me. Yeah, you can even go in here. I don't, I don't know if this is all just for show. I'm gonna take the showers here of the urinals. I don't know. This is you guys you just have the gold. Alright, okay, there goes the. Oh, so the, I thought it was. I guess they won't have the morgue in here. Yeah, I don't think so. Or the autopsy room. No, that wouldn't be. Oh! What? Oh, it's a oh, uh, record. Advice? We've got a scene, a dumped car, and a witness. Let's get there. There you go. <laughs> this is this supposed to be random record. I don't understand what the point is. Like, okay, I understand you get ranks, but there we go. We got another intuition point. That's what I wanted. What I don't understand is why he just picks up the record and puts it down, and then it counts as getting the record. Like, what does he even do with the record? He doesn't do anything with it. <laughs> He doesn't, I don't even know what record, what it's supposed to be. A 78 or something? Maybe. What the hell? Maybe not. Well, I mean, like... But why? It doesn't even say the song on it, does it? If you go through the record collection, why? Well, I didn't even know you could go through a record collection. I don't know, maybe there is. Oh, it was the holding cells. So, you gonna see your married man again? Survive the war for this? There you go. Okay, we got this somehow. I survived the war for this. <coughs> Whoops. Where is he? Oh, is there anything else to spell too? No, it's probably just. Yeah, I would, I would tell you to press X. Did you hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Yeah. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. Okay, so uh, I, get, I guess the he's out. He's out of jail already. <laughs> oh crap! Uh oh. That can't be good. I'm gonna get killed. Oh, the road goes right on the 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 train the tracks go right onto the road. Don't have a train like that. Is that maybe that's not a train? Maybe that's a city. It looks like those street buses. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, probably. Oh, this is when Los. I remember was this before or after the car company he's tried destroying the Los Angeles public transportation, so more people would have to buy cars.
Why is that truck just up there? Oh, construction, I guess. Oh no, this is the, the crime scene, that's why. Yeah, it's gotta be the crime scene, bro, right here. Oh no, that's it right there. What the hell is that then? It's on the map, it's here. I know, but that just must be construction then. Yeah. It's just Jacob's backyard. <laughs> Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. <laughs> we got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch, anyway. Okay, let's see what we got. That is the police telephone. <laughs> is that what, how they called the the emergency back then? Or is yeah. this... Oh. oh, there it goes. It's finally gonna have something in it. People are inquisitive. Don't sweat it. We'll keep him back. Smash. Probably nothing. No. I don't know why it even happened. It's just beer bottle. <laughs> gotta be, eventually, there's gotta be a beer bottle that has something in it. I knew it wasn't. Oh, it'd be weird if. Oh, God. Hey, look, I should have known that's what. Well, eating the cheese, probably. I swear. I thought it was clogged up. That's what happens when you eat cheese? I was like, when I have dairy. Like, when I have milkshakes, my throat gets clogged up, too. Gotta be something. There's a lot of people to interrogate, looks like. Okay, there we go. What's this? More beer bottles. <laughs> Isn't he a drunk? Can they collect beer Incidental. bottles? Incidental. Bring it back or something? Is that what they do? It's not like me. I don't think so. Yeah. They all look the same, too. They're all the same brand. Yeah, maybe something in the trash can? No? Oh, what's in here? Nothing. I don't know how far back it, it wants me to... Oh, oh! I didn't mean to do that. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. That's right. No, I just got too close to him. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. That all? I run those boys off for you. Ain't that worth something? Yeah, well, you should just... ask me some real questions. Well, there's something about the cars, I see. I guess there's not. Yeah, I thought maybe there'd be something around here. Some oh clues or something around. Why is he talking about smash window to you? Oh, dude. Baseball bat. Yeah, there we go. I think so. Yeah, I thought they wouldn't want to touch you. It doesn't look like anything. He was just talking about how he had ba they had baseballs smashing it. And he said it doesn't look like anything. I guess we're just supposed to check the, the stuff here. I thought you would have to be more inquisitive than that. No license plate. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Argentina? Is that? <laughs> it's Argentina. They must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. So I'm sorry they didn't take that too then. It's yeah, owned by the Argentinian Embassy. It's not the Argentinian Embassy, it's the Consulate General. Obviously the Embassy would be in Washington DC. Yeah. Empty. 
Or was he gonna be Ogino Nazi, a, a boy for that fled there or something? Isn't that what the Longman did? They fled George Jr. Oh, yeah. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Police service. Police. There's gotta be another police somewhere around here then. Well, there's people. I've gone over here, but it doesn't look like there's any actual police there. There's something. There's just something I miss here. No, oh, it's the same thing. Maybe. I want to look further into it. No, nothing. You won't let me do anything there. It's easy to say missing front license plate. Do they do they have need front license plates in California? Oh, what was that? Ah, there we go. Not much help. There's gonna be something around here. What's that? Oh, something shiny. Oh, there's these two though. I saw that thing too, though, so that's, I'm gonna have to check that. Doesn't give me anything to go on. And he's, he's talking about baseballs. He says it means nothing, but I guess he just thinks that mm. it's unrelated. Don't think this is any use to us. But I saw something shiny right there. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. The Dewey Brothers. There you go. I see there. It'll look at. It. They already have. So they already had the seam like scouted out pretty much in advance. Good clues. I guess now I gotta talk to him. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Okay. Is this Mexican? Can you tell us what they were doing? Argentina. Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. <laughs> Why did he look like that? <laughs> After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Oh, look at his face. Probably back. I don't know. I assume it's bad cop. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Oh, yeah, there you go. Be a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accused well, of me Well, he, he changed this too pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the car they were driving. Like, how are we so... It was an old Ford. <laughs> I didn't catch the license number. It's all you're telling the truth. Yeah. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red pink job. Stands out a mile. Okay. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Ah. Uh, he's obviously lying, but I don't know if I should use intuition or. Or you probably looking at the notebook to see. Oh, what did you say? The about the license plates. Or the Argentinian flag, I guess. Or maybe, yeah. Missing wheel? That's a missing wheel. No, but didn't he say that he already saw it? That's what he saw them take? Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe that's your point. Yeah. See, look, what happens if you use, like, a removing answer? Okay, so we gotta do either one of these two, then. Oh, that's what we wasted. Why one. did you take the license plate? Me? But what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Oh, 
Okay, now, well, obviously, I, that's not what I was supposed to do, I don't think. I think I was supposed to do bad cop. Yeah. Yeah, we just... <laughs> I, we already know he did know what the license plate was, because he said it on there. <laughs> but... You don't ask, you never find out. Oh, there you go. You can actually back out. Did you can see you that? you always do that, or is it just like you do it now, because you used to... Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. No, I, I don't know. Okay, you, I back, I, you can back it's it, though. On the chair on okay, let's go to this. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? <laughs> okay, yes, there we go. You can back out. Well, you can't back out on the oh, good cop. To go to the phone. Oh, so you don't talk to that person? Oh, uh, you probably can't talk to someone. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly uh. a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Dealership 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks, man. Oh, there we go. It's that's what they used to do if they just saw so they didn't know where it was. Yeah, I guess they could just look it up. See, I want to see if you can talk to her. Let me see what she see something about it. No. I don't know why you're doing that, buddy, but I wish you'd stop. Oh, nope, I guess she's just meaningless. She's a nobody. Oh, those other police. All these cops. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody else over there too. Let's play that music again. Does it really mean it? Such a nice area. Yeah. Look, I gotta go right here. Is what it says. Oh no! Does that just mean that's where my partner is? Well, do I gotta go to the baseball again then? It doesn't tell me anything. I don't know if it's playing the music for a reason or not. So I guess cues is when you're saying, and they actually, I don't know, it's weird because I, I, I said like cues, I thought I was supposed to say cues to hit him of not seeing anything, but it's actually it's supposed to be apparently accusative of. Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't really say what you're accusing him of. Like, what do you think? At least I know now you can back out on it. Alright. Okay, now the music stopped though. It's almost like there are more stuff here then. Maybe... Was I supposed to talk to him again? What was I supposed to do? Like, why is the music playing again? Is there a way you can check his health or something? Oh, where is it? He's over there. The Mexican suspect, of course. How does he? <laughs> he doesn't know the Mexican. She can sell to you from Argentina because he's a flag in the embassy. Maybe you are. Oh, oh, there you go. There's the notebook right there. Or no. Oh, yeah. Oh, there. I knew there was the migrants. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. A degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. There you go. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. There. 
Did you say we gotta talk? You have to do that again. Yeah, well, is that what it lights up, I guess, when you're supposed to call them? Cole Phelps, badge 1247. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Is that what and you're going to do? You're just calling, pretending to be the claim of your police? Oh, yeah, that's not weird. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. A message. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. All right, we got to go back there, I guess. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Okay, so I guess we had to do that. Yeah, okay, so it Can lights you up when you're supposed to. Until we have the vehicle <laughs> impounded. Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. Is he gonna come or what? Oh, okay, he says no. He says get a statement from Jacobs. I guess that means he just stays there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not coming with me. I guess. Which cars? It looks like a car that Superman has smashed, like an action problem. So they said the police station. Yeah. Oh, now he's coming. I thought he was staying. <laughs> We're not even that far away from the police station, are we? This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Oh, this your favorite again. cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Yeah, was it? I did all that just to steal a tire. Oh, I thought that was like. Okay. Oh. I thought that guy was gonna hit me. Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an in interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. I'm sure he don't wear gloves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so obviously they know about forensics then. If he's if he's wearing a gloves and doesn't want to touch anything. I, I heard him. Since, or should someone say about fuck you? Time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath. He doesn't have a diplomatic immunity. Mr. Baldez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Dewey Brothers. You think someone from the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. Oh, uh, I got it wrong. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. I don't know what my sister is. Good yeah. cop. Fine. I think good cop. You didn't use the car last night? For dinner, yes. Oh, maybe but it was back in the garage by nine. Yeah, got both of them I'll be talking to the gangster squad about you, Valdez. They're gonna love your diary. 
Yeah, we're both, both of them are wrong. <laughs> so obviously he's making that up. Yeah, you're supposed to know that. Oh, maybe bad cop is what you're supposed to do. Because I don't think we have any evidence to... Yeah. Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him. In a couple of hours. Drink. I got the jitter. Okay, well, we messed that up. Washington. It's got true. Well, the girls are part of a group of 100 who will work in a rayon mill at Saint Georges de Beauce, where they will receive the Dominion's minimum wage of twelve dollars a week. That's twelve dollars a week. Brought from Frankfurt, will be taught the rayon spinning process and are under contract for two years, during which time they'll be lodged in a convent school. Here they will pay six and one half dollars of their wages for board and lodging. Wow. They at least are no longer among Europe's wanderers. They're paying that so they, get, they have to pay half their wage for the side, board. The Radnick waits at Montreal to repatriate 500 Yugoslavs who prefer to try life under Tito. They're not leaving at Tito. Yeah, obviously I'm supposed to set destination. Of some rather exclusive commodities. Whether or not life in the Western Hemisphere has been congenial, it is certain. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, we just did good cop out of that. We should have went hard on him, I guess. We're not good detectives. You're playing Ace Attorney. You gotta be def uh, public defender. Ah, you take it easy. That guy was just gonna walk in the middle of the road. Whoops. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? I'll try. I don't know if it even lets you kill anybody in this. I said I tried before, it didn't seem like it would let me. No, it's like I said, I'm not doing any calls. Oh. You have got problems, Phelps. You end up chasing. Yeah, well, because they were. I don't want to wait for, for the lights to turn green. It's going to take forever if I just always wait for the light to be green. Sure exactly. How do you do this? Yeah, this is a. Wait, who developed it? Team Bondi. And who? So it's has a different developer than the Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, yeah it, it wasn't. Yeah, it was a different developer. Team Bondi don't exist anymore. They said they went bankrupt based on making this game. I think. He's trying to make a lot. Like, it's like Max Payne 3. I don't know who developed that. Your Red Dead Redemption is another period piece. <laughs> That was supposed to be for wet, like we're still back to western. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's supposed to be like the end of the western period, so it's like the west is dying, whatever the old wild west. It's like it actually takes place pretty late, I think. Like the 1910s or whatever. Oh, maybe the first red Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. 
but I know how we can find out. Follow me. Or if you just want to get the theft for the like insurance payment. Insurance payout, I don't know. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Our wage bracket. Uh, I guess we got that alone time, Dewey. Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. <laughs> it's gonna. Be, uh, let's see. Yeah, obviously this is gonna be the missing one. There we go. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. I guess he's the the Mexican, or they're just assuming he's Mexican. Mm -hmm. Oh, no good to me. <laughs> no, we need to fix it up. No smoking. They had oh, I'm surprised they had no smoking time. Yeah. Well, maybe it's because it's the three of the cars. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's a license plate. Junk. Okay. I thought it was going to be the license plate. No, I guess not. I guess it's junk. <laughs> junk. Optimistic call. Nothing for that either. That was the same thing, wasn't it? No good. We need diplomatic plates. Okay. I don't know where. Oh. oh. We basically found nothing. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. This is I've already got. I'm just doing it right next to him. Circumstantial. Nope. Oh. Well, we got everything, anyways. Is that all? I got to talk to him, I assume. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Yeah. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Well, he's definitely lying. Burn? I think he's lying. But... Just about enough of you. <laughs> What's the angle with Valdez? The embassy bought the car. When it comes in for service, Valdez picks it up. That's it. Nope. I... Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. <laughs> Address, Dewey. Or my partner shoves her head in a car door. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh... Apartment 3103 <laughs> Street. Like and know. tell him yeah. from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm gonna kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Yeah. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. I don't know. I don't want to use one yet. So that's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. Oh, we messed that up too. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey. And spreading so the word lying. that you don't like Ryan? to cooperate with the LAPD. So he's lying. Okay. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. Somebody's lying right Because I don't know what they... I know sometimes they say people looking away, it means it's lying, but then 
Other things you don't know that means like they actually means to try to I don't know that line. We're gonna we're gonna fail then if we if we don't start getting better. Cause how much so we got four out of four, then zero to two, then one out of three, so what are we now? Uh so it's one out of five. The story in the examiner about the Navy developing three dimensional movies? Five out of nine. Dimension. You know, like a graph. The vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. In God's name would walk out. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkie using color. And look what we have now. The talkies. Again, even 1947, though, most the movies were not in color. Yeah, I don't think it was until the 1960s. This is KTI Radio. Even then, yeah, there's... Like, even if you see the Night of the Living Dead, it's still so black. Yeah. I guess there was The Wizard of Oz was already out by this point, though. I'm confessing that I love you. I said I almost said the Walking Dead note that Night at Night the Living Dead. That's like I'm confessing it could be like one of the most influential zombie movies. Your son is dead. No, he says your brother's dead, not your son is dead. Is he the guy that, so isn't that the main character that doesn't even get killed by zombies, he just gets killed by people who think he's, or maybe, I don't know if it's supposed to that they think he's a zombie, they're just racist people and just want to kill him. I mean, in the second movie they tried to, it looks like he's gonna commit, no, not him, like the other, one of the other main characters looks like he commits suicide, they just has a change of heart and decides to try to survive. And the third one's pretty much like the, the, the movie The Creature of the Lack of Goo, which they try to tame the zombie. And he actually is successful, it seems like, in taming him. Yeah, it's a pretty similar thing. Like I said, it's like the third creature. Oh, I gotta go up. Great. Now how do I get up there? I'm not gonna be able to get up there, any, am I? No. I gotta get up there a different way. Ah. Christ alive! Can I even get there from here? I don't know if it'll let me. It's blocked off. Yeah, I can't. Go up some mountain. I I gotta go from the other way then. Unless maybe it'll let me go that here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. I have to go up here, then go right, I guess. Spotify, like a playlist of all these songs. Maybe. Should I go right or straight? Okay, I go left here. I was gonna just try to drive to the destination, but I don't know if I can. Why is it? <laughs> you just go slowly. Oh, there you go. Uh, what? They teleported. In the car, too. Okay, let's <laughs> see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I went right from. Hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Archangel. Want another accommodation? Oh, I thought I was supposed to talk to that guy. Hey, keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep.
yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Oh, yeah, I think inside? I know what we're supposed to do. What is your name? We're probably Anna supposed to accuse case. the guy because of no Gabriel Delgado here? with the notepad. Like, see, now we had his name on it. So he said he probably should have known who he was. Is he in That's trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. Instead of doing we bad cop. Look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Yeah, that's probably what we were supposed to do. That's why we got to look. All right, we're gonna have to look at our notes more. So right. How far along are you, Anna? Oh, there we go. The whole Nearly body. twenty weeks. Right. So how's it gonna be when you go into labor and he's not around? And she said that. So he's he's a dumb move. <laughs> he will be a good father. Already, he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one Maybe. won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. He's just all threatening her. Oh, this is where we came from. Uh, that's a pretty big apartment. Seems irrelevant. It looks like a... I don't know if it's names or if it's a grocery list. Is that Jesus? It took a smarter man yeah. than me to connect that. I can't tell. I don't think it's Jesus. What was it? They got more comics. What, what were they real? I doubt it. This is something about baseball. Actually, no, it looks like a baseball magazine or something. Baseball. This baseball is popular. Yeah, this is when baseball is actually the, the most popular sport. Oh, well, maybe not in this part of the United States, though. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can go outside. It's like gold, huh? Is there anything else sitting back here? Obviously, then these are supposed to be the easier ones, like the missions that we're already getting a whole bunch of stuff wrong. No, I don't think so. Oh. There we go. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. This doesn't pertain to the case. <laughs> the wrench and the hammer. I know. I don't think this is going to help us. Gotta be the license plate's got to be in here somewhere. There it is, right there. License plates. Diplomatic license plates. This one's probably means not to buy. Wow, he has a lot of stolen plates, though. So. <laughs> not just that. So, um, does that mean he's not actually, probably not actually with the embassy? He just forged it? Or what? Uh, not everything here is going to be relevant. Great, let's go. I gotta talk to him now. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. <laughs> but Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Let's do this Tell first. us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. I accuse, obviously. Yeah. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. 
He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. The breakfast place? Yeah, the breakfast place. <laughs> Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. There you go, yeah. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Uh-huh. Is that a good cop then? Yes. I don't see remove an answer. He said, okay. He insulted him, so I guess it. That sounds like it, it could make sense. Okay. Yeah, they're good phone number for William Dewey. Yeah, that's what we probably should, were supposed to do that one time. Oh, yeah. All right, good cop. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon that he is a man. Yeah, there we go. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Uh, so what I do, accuse and then use the the unchanging flag? Yeah, I guess so. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if there is enough. Fine. I don't think there really is enough evidence. But it's just that, yeah, the song. All right, try that. Oh, no. You come into my house to insult. Oh, well, we got two out of three, I guess. I have known many policia like you. Okay, let's see. Gabriel wasn't at work. Where can we find him? He said he would never go back. Gabriel is out driving around in his car. If you tell us where he is, I will try and bring him in. If we have to track him down ourselves, it could end very badly for him, Miss Rodriguez. He is out with his chivatos. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Julian and Enrique. They race on the corner of First and Santa Fe. I have pleaded with Gabriel to stop, but he would not listen. Oh, we'll this is after you're for. As far yeah. as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get him off the street. Well, she basically just admitted that he did it, <laughs> and why? And its motive too. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, there's a lot, there's enough evidence though, anyways. Because, like, with the, all the license plate, everything. Was it these guys? No, probably not. That what? Yeah, it's his friend, his two friends. Well, actually, there's three people, but it's not them there. Oh, he yeah. Oh, you go, was it? <laughs> It says it hasn't had any, like, other cases yet. Like, or the side, the street crimes. It doesn't ask to see any of them yet. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cards? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Oh, he didn't even answer that. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling the mother. I've oh yeah, he is 16. Yeah, that's the one that he is. Is he the one that's 16 years old? 
Can we set somebody else? Isn't that like a red dot 5 when you have to do these races? Uh, there, that's more than one Grand Theft Auto that had street races. I know Vice City, I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it looks like there's not gonna be any street crime. You can see the part that were paved more recently. The darker ones. I say he's done, he knows I'm gonna smash your head on the door. Or are you saying his friend's gonna Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, no, it's just the only way. Yeah. Yeah, it was just that. I thought it was a, a street crime. Cool looking. I wonder how far did you get in this game? How many hours did you play? Jesus, Cole! I assume you already did the, got this far at least. Yeah, there's only one, but I think I just like jumped off of something on this side. There's the red Ford. Well, we already saw somebody come in too. I said he jumped off the, the street. They, did, they do street racing in the middle of the day. I thought Quick, it was supposed to be at night. Yeah. <laughs> Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. So what am I supposed to do? Stay on the line. Get away! I'm not getting away. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> He's gonna make a turn. Step on it, Belt. Take him out. I'm trying. I'm going as fast as I can. Just like a, a fast. Did oh, that guy try to ram me? Is that please? That's what they changed. He's like the rich of us in melee. Forgot it was our like boy. Forget the others. Right? Okay. Oh, he's gonna get out of my way. Oh. Gonna lose him. Oh crap. Where, which way did he go? Where'd he go? He went onto the freeway or something. Oh, he's all the way over there. Crap. He's gonna get away, isn't he? Is that a water? Yeah. Unless he tries to get up here. I got it. There we go. I need some answer catch up to him. Somehow. That's <laughs> a weird, like, uh, Oh. Oh. Come on, <laughs> ram him. I tried to do a pit maneuver on him. Oh, it's gonna drown for sure. Not drown, it's gonna. God! Damn it, Cole, hold it steady. I don't even know if you're supposed to ram me, you're just supposed to follow him long enough. I took this off. There you go. No way he's gonna look Oh. Gabriel Delgado, you're oh. under arrest for grand theft. You're <laughs> just gonna jump off a tree. Yeah. Fuck you, puto! You just speak to the maricon! Oh, isn't that homophobic? Yes, I shot story? him! Now who's that man? Isn't that a homophobic? Story? I should burn yeah. his fucking collar! You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. We say he's a kitty raper. I, obviously, we didn't get that part. Yeah. Just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it. Wow, well, I guess <laughs> we definitely get to get that information out of him. <laughs> So you must have been sexually involved with him. Yeah, we definitely didn't know that. <laughs> what? We didn't get all the clues?